نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد الصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم Welcome to the program Miftahul Quran on ITV and we continue with Surah Yunus which actually is the 10th chapter of the Quran and this particular installment is YUN 14 it is YUN because we are discussing Surah Yunus and of course we continue with verse number 48 A'uz billahi minash shaitanir rajim I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim I begin in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful Wa yaquluna mata hadha alwa'du in kuntum sadiqin wa yaquluna mata hadha alwa'du in kuntum sadiqin and yaquluna they say or they will say da ya is he wa'nun of god means they will say who is the they those who made the kazzaba bi ayati those who did deny the ayat of allah and they denied the quran and they denied the message of islam by muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they would say mata when haza this al wa'du al is of course the wa'd is promise right promise in if kuntum you are sadiqina you are truthful from sadaqa sadiq is is ism fa'il one who does that right sadaqa he was truthful sadiq one who is truthful sadiqin those who are truthful so here you find it in the plural wa yaquluna and they would say the denies of the truth and the message of the quran mata hadha al wa'du right that when will this promise be fulfilled the promise of that you're going to encounter allah and you are going to be facing allah on the yawm al akhirah and you are going to be answerable to all your deeds and more so for for wakazabu bi ayatina that for for denying and rejecting the signs and the message of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in kuntum sadiqin if you are truthful notice now this is in the plural kuntum you are that is you the whole muslim ummah all those who are trying to give the message of the quran if you are truthful when tell us when is this great day that you are saying we going to encounter allah the yawm al akhirah so allah tells his nabi and through his nabi qul allah tells his nabi mas answer la amliku na li nafsi darra wa la naf'an illa ma sha allah la qul la amliku li nafsi darra wa la naf'an illa ma sha allah qul say allah nabi is told to answer say la not amliku you see malaka yamliku like malika malaka yamliku like daraba yadribu amala right amliku means i take the ya out yamliku amliku i control li nafsi li li is two or four nafsi self myself li nafsi i do not control for myself darran darran is any harm actually is indefinite article and we know whenever you write that two fatha the law law is that you must put an alif there wa and la not nafan right any harm or a harm illa except ma what sha'a sha'a mean desired allah right so allah is telling his nabi that these people who are challenging you and say when is the day going to come that i'm going to be face to face on the yawm al qiyamah say i qul la amliku li nafsi darran wa la nafan say i do not control for my own self that allah's nabi this is a very important thing i do not control for myself any harm and, and no any desire and especially those who ask for nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam to to do this and forgive my sin and do this do that note what allah has told his nabi to say that i do not control for myself any harm and no any benefits how can i do something for you illa ma sha allah except that 
what Allah desired. Now you must remember when Allah desires according to the law of Allah. Allah has got a law for everything. وَلِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ لَقَدْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدَرًا That Allah has made the law for everything. Now this question of Masha Allah, this doesn't mean to say Allah will just desire out of the blue he want to do this. No. What is Masha Allah means according to the laws of Allah. Because if you look at Surah, what you call Ala Imran, chapter 3, verse number 5. Allah says, Huwa allazi yusawwirikum fil arhami kaifa yasha. That Allah is huwa allazi, he is one who has shaped you and fashioned you in the womb of your mothers kaifa yasha as he desired. Now think over that verse, chapter 3, verse number 5, when Allah says, he has shaped you as he liked. What do you mean by as he liked? according to the law of nature, according to the DNA, according to the chromosome, the genes, and your, your biological inheritance. These are the laws that Allah had set. That is the meaning of kaifa yasha. You have become a child according to your biological parents. This is very, very important. Kaifa yasha. Likulli ummatin ajal. Iza jaa ajaluhum. Fala yastakhiruna sa'atan. Wala yastakdimuna. Likulli. Shayin, ajalin, iza jaa ajaluhum, fala yastakhiruna sa'atan, wala yastakdimuna. Likulli, what do you mean by likulli? Likulli, for every. Likulli ummatin. Right, if I say this is singular and govern in a, put in a genitive case, so which means A plus it is because of, right, because of kulli, we are going to translate it as every. But if it was plural, then the same kulli, we would have to say all. And you say kullu rijalin, all men. Kullu rajulin, every man. You see, ummatun ajalun, iza when jaa came, ajaluhum, ajaluhum, they term. Fala then not, yasta khiruna, ista khara, isi akhara meant to delay. Istahara means to cause to delay. Sa'atan, for a moment, right here, you see sa'a means an hour, that refers to also capital letter, hour of, sa'atan means the, the, the hour of judgment. Sa'atan also means a watch, a clock, or so many meaning it has, for a moment. Wa and la not, yastakdimuna, istaktama yastakdimu, to advance or to bring it forward. You see, so here Allah says, Likulli umatin ajan, for every community, every nation, every empire. Ummat means an empire, there is a term. Izaja ajaluhum, and when their term, the end of their term approaches, la yastakhiruna sa'atan, then they can neither be delayed and nor can they be advanced. Now, you know what it means? It simply means this, that you look at all the various civilizations in the history of mankind, whether it was a Roman, whether it was a Greek, whether it was the great Ashoka Empire in India, whether it was a Persian Empire, and including the, 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 the empires of, of you find in India, we had the Mughal Empire, we had a British Empire, we had a Portuguese Empire, so many empires in the world. What is Allah trying to tell us here? That for every empire, for every community, there is a term. And it cannot go on forever because what happened? Things happen, like for instance, the Muslim Empire in Spain. Certain things they did, their downfall came. When the end of the empire term approaches, la yastakhiruna sa'atan. It cannot be cannot be delayed. Wala yastak the moon, and nor can they be what you call advance. So now if you look at this, look at people like America, look at Russia, the Soviet Union, even in our lifetime, we have seen how the Soviet Union came to an end, right? Didn't you see the Soviet Union, how it came to an end? Because it was something that people thought is gonna go on forever and ever. And here you find there's no such thing as a Soviet Union, but all the states that formed the Soviet Union, the great 
confederation is split up. So in the same way, America watch it. Zionist movement watch it. No matter who you are, your end can come and you are going to be no more existing in the map of the world. And so this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to tell us, that you are not going to go on. Qul ara'aytum in atakum azabuhu bayatan aw naharan maza yasta'ajilu minhul mujrimun. So Allah qul say ara'aytum in atakum azabuhu Bayatan aw nahar maza yasta'jilu minhul mujrimun. And of course, God's got a sign that uh, we have to go for a short break. And inshallah, after the short break, we shall continue on this very, very important topic that we are discussing on ITV's program, Miftahul Quran, also known as Key to the Quran. And of course, we are dealing with Surah Yunus, which is the 10th chapter of the Quran. And inshallah, after the break, we shall continue with verse number 50. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the program Miftahul Quran, also known as Key to the Quran. And of course, you are tuned in to ITV. And we continue with verse number 50 of Surah Yunus. And you know, this is installment number YUN for Yunus, number 14. Bismillah rahman rahim Qul, ara'aytum min ataakum azabuhu. Bayatan aw naharan, maza yasta'ajilu minhul mujrimun. Qul, a ra'aytum in atakum azabuhu bayatan aw naharan, maza yasta'ajilu minhu al mujrimuna. Qul, say. Now again, we know in the previous this thing, Allah's Nabi told his beloved, Allah did tell his beloved Nabi, Qul, say. I myself, I do not know what is my position, darran, wala nafan. I don't know my, my, whether my harm or my benefit, I don't know in the akhirah. So don't tell me to tell you what's going to happen. Kul say, ah, ah, of course, is an interrogative question. Ra'aytum, ra'a, so, ra'aytum, you have seen, ara'aytum. Now again, you notice this is in the plural. Have you seen in if? Atakum came to you. Ata came, but ata means right to 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 it's a different thing. Ata came. Come to you meaning plural. Azabuhu, his punishment. So Allah is telling his Nabi, say to these people who are challenging you, Mata, when will come? When will come this uh, al wad your promise? So his punishment. Azabuhu. Bayatan by night. You see, bayatan, this is accusative to express adverb of time. When? By night. Aw or naharan, again, accusative. Right, accusative to express also adverb of time. By night or by day. Maza, what? Yasta ajilu. You see, ajala. Ajala means to, 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 to be prompt. Right, but ista ajala, you, you bring it on form number 10. Form number 10 means to desire to be to hasten. Right, ista ajala, that ya means, that ya means he, but because it's a verbal sentence, we take the we, the ya into a day. Minhu of it, al mujrimuna, al is of course da. Al is da. So this is. Mujrim. What is mujrim? It is a fourth form verb. Ajrama, he was guilty. Yujrimu, he is guilty. Mujrim is ism file, the one who does that action. Ajrama, yujrimu. Mujrim, the guilty. Or mujrimuna 
is a plural al mujrimuna so here allah is telling qul say to them my beloved nabi araitum in atakum azabuhu have you considered if his chastisement came to you by night or by day do you know empires have been wiped out within the night coups you find a coup takes place you find the army comes and throws out the prime minister while he's sleeping he's gone or during the night time with a split second the army comes and take over the country or one country conquers another and we have seen that for instance uh you find that uh, when the army is asleep you find that in the roman empire when they went to what places and while the people were asleep they were attacked and they were next day you find the country was changed changed hands from one ruler to another ruler you see so this is a historical fact and it happens again and again see you should like the falkland islands when tetcher sent his army there within the night or a day it was finished gone so allah is telling that don't try to say that when this thing is going to take place have you considered if his chastisement came to you by night or by day you see at any time right maza yastajilu minhul mujrimun what would the guilty desire to hasten of it why do you want to hasten it you see istajala why do you want to hasten the last day or the yawm al qiyama or your encounter with your lord why do you want to hasten it because you know for a fact things happen within a split second by bayatan during the the moment of a night aw naharan or during that the day so allah can show you whenever he want to as allah says that liqulli qaumin for every nation there is a term iza ja ajaluhum when the term ends overnight it can change ownership or power goes from one person to another asumma iza ma waqa amantum bihi alana waqad kuntum bihi tastajiluna a summa iza ma waqa amantum bihi alana waqad kuntum bihi tastajiluna a is interrogative allah you remember there is in the quran we do not have question mark but there are words what you call a or sometimes you say hal like hal atak hadisul ghasha or sometimes we have words that introduce question man ma right maza aina these are words that introduce so therefore in the quran we do not have but of course modern literature they use they use a question mark a asumma thereafter allah says is it thereafter is a when ma what waqa waqa to take place you see you see waqia ye waqia wa this incident right it comes to pass what comes to pass uh, that is if if you you see now the last day is approaching you want to know when you are going to encounter your allah you going to say that you know what now i can see that the day has come the yawmul akhirah has come or the day when we are going to uh, go and meet our lord we are going to encounter our lord we're going to be face to face with him it is this coming to pass allah is asking amantum will you believe then will you say okay okay i'm believing be in it alana oh now you say ah oh, now wa and qad verily qad verily kuntum what is kana he was kuntum you were kuntum you were bihi with it tastajiluna you see as i told you this is form number 10 istajala yastajilu right tastajiluna that is you desire to hasten right so what allah is telling us here allah is telling us asumma iza ma waqa amantum bihi that if thereafter whenever it comes to pass you believe in it to say that all of a sudden you are living in the world and you see that uh, that uh, the things are happening 
and Allah is coming and, and the things are happening, we can see before us that, that the day world is coming to an end and we have to, what we have to do, we have to get ready for it. And as we are getting ready for it and Allah is asking, Waka amantum bihi, will you believe in it? Al ana waqad kuntum bihi tastajiluna. Ah, now you used to desire to hasten it. You wanted to make it sharp, sharp. He said, when this thing is coming, but now when you see the big thing before you, you see where Allah says, in this world, you see your life is crushing, your country is crushing, your empire is crushing. As Allah says, the term is going to come to an end. Now you see it before you, said so all of a sudden you want to say, and Allah is saying, you asked for, you said when is going to happen? So it's happening in front of you. Thumma qila lil zalamu, zuku azab al khuldi. Hal tudzawna illa bima kuntum taksibuna. Thumma qila lil zalamu, zuku azab al khuldi. Hal tudzawna illa bima kuntum taksibuna. Summa thereafter, now this is the final message now, thereafter. Qila, Qila, Qala, he said, Qila is passive. It will be said, Lil Lazina, Li is of course true, Al Lazina, those who, Zalamu, they wronged. How did they wrong? They wronged themselves by denying the truth, the denying the message. Zuku, you see, Zuku is like, we call it kana and it is says kawana kunu, kawama kumu, kawala kulu, zawaka zuku. It's a, it's a command, but in the plural, right, the wow alif means it plural. So it taste, taste what? You see, taste what? Ask the question what? After the verb, you are going to get the accusative case. Taste the punishment al khuldi of, yeah, you see. Now you look at azab al khuldi. Is a idafa genitive construction, azab al khuldi, the punishment of the eternity. So, in other words, Allah is talking about the hereafter. That these people who denied the truth, who rejected the message, and when they see things happening right in front of them, they are going to say, Right, hal tudzauna, you will be recompensed or punished, illa except bima, by that what? Kuntum you were taksibuna, right? Kasaba yaksibu ta is you. Waunun makes it plural, what you earn. So Allah is going to say, Summaqila lil lazina zalamu. They are going to be told, these people who were unjust and who wronged themselves, Zuku azab al khuld. Now, in the hereafter, this obviously the punishment in the hereafter because of the fact that the law is talking about azab al-khuld. Azab al-khuld is not in the world, it is in the hereafter. Khuld means eternity. So, summa qila lil lazina zalamu. So, it will be said to those who wronged, zuku azab al-khuld, taste the punishment of the fire. Hal tudzawna illa bima kuntum taksibuna. They will be told, will you be recompensed except by that what you used to earn. Now this sentence here tells us there is no shortcut. You cannot read something and say that you know what, my, 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 I'm going to read some magic words and my past and future sins are going to be forgiven. This is nonsense because Allah says you will be recompensed except by that what you used to earn. So you did good, right? Whoever does the least amount of good, you are going to be seen to. Whoever does the least amount of shar, he has seen it. And of course, we have come to the end of this program for myself and Yusuf and his engineers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.